Today we are going to practice some common beginner level, A1 level collocations related to travel. Here are the collocations. Confirm a reservation, book a hotel room, watch an in-flight movie, and we will also practice the idea of want, but we will use the less direct, always more polite, would like. Example, Mary wants a smoking room. This sentence is fine, but we can make it sound much nicer by using the phrase would like. Let's change it. Mary would like. Mary would like. Mary'd like. Mary'd like. She'd like. She'd like a smoking room. How would you ask a yes-no question with this sentence? Would she? Would she like? Would she like a... Would she like a... Would she like a smoking room? Would she like a smoking room? Would she like a smoking room? Let's answer no to this question. No, she... No, she wouldn't. No, she wouldn't like a smoking room. She would like... She'd like, she'd like a, she'd like a, she'd like a non-smoking room. She wouldn't like a smoking room, she'd like a non-smoking room. Welcome to the Professor English Podcast, where we don't just talk about English, we practice English. My name is Ryan, and I am your host. Today, we are going to practice English by practicing using want and would like, while also practicing some A2 elementary level travel vocabulary. This is a listening and a speaking exercise. So if you want to improve your English listening, your English speaking, while also improving your accuracy and vocabulary, in other words, the whole enchilada, you have found the right video. There are no long explanations, just English practice. Practice listening and practice speaking. Before we begin, I just want to remind you that if you prefer some visual help with this exercise, you can always see the video version on my YouTube channel, Professor English ESL Class. Now, let's dive in and start practicing English. Here is a situation. Mary is calling a hotel. She wants to be sure they have her reservation. For this situation, we use the collocation confirm a reservation. She tells the hotel employee, I want to. I want to confirm. I want to confirm. I want to confirm. I want to confirm my reservation. 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 This sentence is correct, but it's not very polite. Let's use the more polite, I would like to. I would like to. I want to. I would like to. I'd like to. I'd like to. I'd like to confirm my reservation. That sounds so much nicer. The employees, the employee confirms the reservation. Then the employee asks, you want your confirmation number? How would you make a question with those words? You want confirmation number? Do you want? Do you want your? Do you want your confirmation number? Do you want your confirmation number? Now, this question is correct, but it doesn't sound very nice. How can you make this question more polite, softer, nicer? Let's use would like and make the same question. Would you like? Would you like your, would you like your, would you like your, would you like your confirmation number? Would you like your confirmation number? Would you like your confirmation number? All right, here's another situation. John calls a hotel because he wants to make a reservation. A common collocation for this situation is book a hotel room. Book is another way to say reserve. He says, I want to book, I want to book a hotel room. I want to book a, 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 I want to book a hotel room. 
I want to book a hotel room. I want to book a. I want to book a. I want to book a hotel room. I wanna want to want to wanna. I want to book a. I want to book a hotel room. This sentence is correct, but it doesn't sound very nice. It doesn't sound very polite. It's too direct. Let's use would like to make it sound nicer. I would like. I would like to. I'd like to. I'd like to. I'd like to. I'd like to book a. I would like to book a. I'd like to book a. I'd like to book a hotel room. I'd like to book a hotel room. The employee asks, "A room with one bed or two beds?" How does the employee make this question with want? You want one bed or two beds? Make a question with that idea. Do you? Do you want a room? Do you want a room with one bed or two beds? Do you want a? Do you want a? Do you wanna? Do you want a room with two beds or one bed? Do you want a room with two beds or one bed? Do you want a room? Do you want a room? Do you want a room with two beds or one bed? This question is correct, but it isn't very nice. Let's use would like to make it sound nicer. Would you? Would you like? Would you like a? 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 Would you like a room with two beds? Would you like a room with two beds? Would you like a room with two beds or one bed? All right, you're doing a super duper job. Let's try another example. But before we do, I just want to remind you that if you find these exercises helpful, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, Professor English ESL Class, so that you won't miss the next lesson. And if you are watching this video on YouTube. Please take a moment to press the like button. It helps my channel so much and lets me know that you want to see more fluency and listening comprehension exercises, just like this one. Now, let's keep practicing English. Here is another situation. Lisa is on a long plane trip. She wants to watch an in-flight movie. Watch an in-flight movie. Watch an in-flight movie. Watch an in-flight movie. She wants to. She wants to. She wants to watch an in-flight movie. Watch an in-flight movie is a common travel collocation. She needs a set of headphones. She tells the flight attendant, "I want some headphones." The sentence is correct, but it doesn't sound very nice. How can Lisa say that she wants headphones in a nicer way? I would like. I'd like. I'd like some headphones. I'd like some headphones. The flight the flight attendant gives Lisa some headphones, and then she asks Lisa, "You want coffee?" How would you make a question with "You want coffee?" Do you? Do you want some coffee? 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 That that doesn't sound very nice. That doesn't sound like a very nice flight attendant. How can we make that sound nicer using would like? Would you? Would you like some? Would you? Would you like some? Would you like some coffee? Would you like some coffee? All right, you did an amazing job today, and you learned some fantastic English. Congratulations! I knew you could do it. Remember that practice makes perfect, so you should repeat this exercise several times. Not just so that you can remember how to use these words and phrases, but also to improve your listening and your speaking skills. It's been really fun practicing English with you today, and I hope to see you again real soon. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to press the like button. See you in the next video with more interesting words and phrases.